lining up to cast their ballots, Angolans expressed a sense of duty to vote in the most contested race since the end of the country's civil war, a showdown between two parties that fought on opposite sides. Angolans know the taste of war. And so, after a little more than 20 years of peace, we cannot go back to unrest in this country. Today is a very important day for the country. It's a day where every citizen must exercise their rights and choose who will lead the country. Vying for the job, incumbent President Joao Lourenço, elected in 2017 with 61 percent of the vote. His formerly Marxist MPLA has ruled Angola since its independence, but is facing unprecedented discontent over the economy. Rival Adalberto Costa Jr. of the main opposition, UNIDA, is hugely popular with younger voters. There has to be a change. The country has to develop, because Angolans are having a hard time. There is a lack of jobs. Many young people are unemployed. In a first, Angolans living abroad are also able to vote. Hundreds lined up to cast their ballots in former colonial power Portugal. With results being compiled and then counted only at a national level, opposition and civil groups are concerned about vote tampering. Angola's National Election Commission insists the count will be fair and transparent, with some 2,000 observers deployed across the country. Still, the opposition called on voters to wait and monitor polling stations after casting their ballots.